What is up, everybody? GX, this is known as GameX, Vegas Family Video. Today we are on Scratch, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an FNF character out of this Scratch Cat. So, uh, you, you, your, your, your OC might not be a cat. That's okay. I'm just using the cat for this. Okay. So first thing we I'm gonna do is get rid of this leg. And now you might be wondering to yourself why why are you getting rid of the leg? What did, what did it do to you? Because we need to go like move things around for this. So I need to do some of that. Uh, and also, if you do not know, uh, this looks weird. Kinda, in a way. Like, the leg is just there. Well, let me teach you how to, uh, let's fix that. Let's just fix it. Yeah. There we go. Now, it's like it's actually connected. In a way. Hold on, I'm gonna have to fix that a little because of words. Alright, see? Now that is a good looking leg. Alright. So, we're, we might keep it like... I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that, but that's how it's gonna be right now. And if you haven't noticed, this scratch head is a, a little naked. That's a problem. So, ignore what I literally just said. We're gonna give this guy some pants. And some blue pants to represent boyfriend. Yeah. So, let me put this. Now, if you're like, oh god, this is not much of a tutorial. And I'm like, okay. I, if, if you don't see this as a tutorial on how to, like, make good F and F stuff or stuff like that, then that's fine. I'm just... In my opinion, it is. You're watching this. Uh, please subscribe. Anyway, that's going to be the pants. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our line tool to make more part of the, the pants of the pants. Yeah. So now you see, we technically got the pants. All we have to do now is put it on the leg. That is correct. Now, does it look good enough for you? Maybe. It all depends on how you feel if it's good or not. Now, something else we could do is ditch the feet entirely and, uh, do that. Just try to make that a little bit flat. And boom, we, we technically got a foot. V very cool. So let's... There's no way Scratch Cat's legs are that long. So now we need to go copy this over. Now we're gonna make another one. To do that, all we're gonna have to do is uh, stretch it out. Apparently this uh, Scratch Cat has a very small legs. Don't ask me why, he just does. Now we're gonna go put, put the pants and the body together, which makes it very easy to... Uh, Move them. Alright, there we go. So now we got a basic body look. Next thing I'm going to want to do is make his arm go into, like, a pocket. So, yeah, let's design that real quick. Alright, now you might be asking yourself, what is this? Is, you're telling me that's a pocket that don't, looks like, it doesn't look like a pocket. And to that I say it's a pocket. And to that I say, uh, we could, if you still don't think it's a pocket, we could just do that. Boom, now it's a better looking pocket. Are you satisfied now? So, I'm gonna want to group these together. So let's get this on as far as we can, which is like right here. Very good, very good. Now, I'm gonna put his other hand there for later. Ditch the feet, cause uh, we don't feet is overrated. Put the thing there. Put the face there. So now we got a basic premise. 
But we're missing a mic. We need, we need, we're gonna need a mic if we're doing F and F, aren't we? To that I say we're gonna make an original looking mic. So yeah, uh, give me a sec. Okay, now that that's done, we're just gonna put that right there, and, uh, and then, there. So, yeah, now we got a good-looking mic so far. You, you can change it up if you want, but that's how we're gonna do it. Gotta go select that again. And now all we gotta do is, uh, make a little thingy for it. Shouldn't be that hard to do. And then, boom. We got a mic, basically. Very cool. Let's move this down a little bit, just in case. Make it a little bit thinner. And boom, we got a mic. Now, all we have to, now, putting the mic right there and just calling it a day is, a uh, doesn't look the greatest, now does it? So let's make him a hand. Because hands are not overrated in the slightest. That's good for now. Mm. Alright, very cool. Now we got him a hand. So now he can go hold his mic with passion and pride. Uh, should we? Does it look better? Yes, it does. Okay. So, boom. Now we got a mic. Very cool. Uh, now all we need to do is, uh, make him, like, a better head. Now, we ain't gonna decapitate him. We are not gonna be doing that in the slightest. No, what we're gonna be doing is, uh, making his face change a little bit. And stuff like that. So, to start off, uh, let's move this for now. Just move it. Very cool. And group all of that together. Now that that's done, we want to make him have an idle face. So, let's go and do this. Okay, very cool. Make sure to fill it in when you, when you're done. Very cool. Now, question: Do we make his eyes like that, or do we keep him keep him like that? I do not know. I think I'll keep it like that. So, there we go. Now, you might be having questions like, "Why am I doing that?" Well, actually, I'm not going to, because I just had a thought. What if you have normal eyes? Dun dun dun. So we're going to turn this into a better looking eye. Uh, now how do we do it? Well, I would normally do it like this, call it a day. Uh, which is what we're going to do now. But if you guys like it, subscribe. I will make a part two. It will make it look a lot nicer, okay? Okay, very cool. So now we got the eyes. We got Scratch Cat. But something's missing. Maybe we need to make a cap for him. Now if, uh... I have something to say, I am probably not the best person at making caps, or hats, especially boyfriend's hat, for some reason it's really hard for me to do, but, uh, we're gonna try to do it, together, very cool. Oh, wow, this thing looks not that good. Actually, it looks kind of decent for what it is. We're going to have to move his ear, though. Alright, alright, alright. I can do this, I can do that. It looks kind of decent. Uh, it looks a little bit wrong, though. I might have to use a hat sprite later. Uh, I'll give credit to him, but 
right now I'm making all this by myself except for the cat. Uh, the cat is not original. You know what, we're gonna stay with that for now, and the last part of it, uh, we need a square, and ta-da, we have boyfriend's hat, apparently. Very cool. So, now let's group that together with that, and boom, we basically got the head done. Very cool. Now, this is already taking me ten minutes, but we are now going to animate this thing. So, I don't know if animation is the hardest part of making FNF. Uh, for me, it is not. So, we're just gonna go and do that. So, and I'm gonna teach you how to. So, first, we're gonna want to change this to idle. Very cool. And duplicate it four times. And now go to sprite 2. I would go and uh, make that go down a little. Uh, can we just go to montage? I don't have a video editor, but, uh, montage! So now we got our first frame of idle, which is, which we're gonna copy over to idle free. And now change this again. Very cool. We're gonna make it go down lower, you know. Not what I meant to do right there. Alright, tail go down. His head moves down as well. I said his head, not the mic. His head moves down as well. Now, here's something I learned recently. We gotta turn the head a little. Now, you might be wondering why. I'll explain later. Actually, I don't know if how I would explain it. But, uh, I will show you later. So now we want to make it barely into starting position. And, uh... We're doing good so far. If you, if you guys are following this tutorial, then you're doing good so far, in my opinion. And I, uh... Oh, shoot, I forgot to make that part of the... Alright, we'll fix that. Later. Totally. So see how smooth looking that is? Now that's what we are looking for. Uh, so yeah, that is a problem. But all we have to do right now is uh, that. We're basically done with that now. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to rename this costume left. And duplicate that four times. Now we ain't going to have uh, four frames of animation. No, we're just going to be setting up the other ones. Very cool. So now we have to do our left animation. Now, in my opinion, animation is probably the easiest part. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move the things around. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a sec. So, I would like to hit that. Thank you. Also, we're going to just go delete that mouth and, uh, all right, there we go. So we have the basic animation. Now, all we have to do is make his mouth. Now, in my opinion, making mouths is uh, kind of hard, so I'm going to just do some basic mouths. Don't know what that means, but uh, it's what I'm going to do. So, there we go. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy that three times. And then go to the second left animation. And make it go more left. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so keep going. Alright, there we go. So now we have our second one. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna extend the mouth. This sounds very weird, but trust me, it's uh, how we're gonna do it. Very cool. 
So we're going to do that one more time. Now, if you do want to get uh, better, you could do four or five frames of animation. How many you want, you just have to like keep going and stuff. Anyway, now time for down animation. For this, I'm just going to go stretch his clothes a little. How do I stretch out that? I don't know. Do I just... I think that's good. I don't know. So now we're going to make his feet separate. I mean, it's how it, it's gonna look how it looks right now. Like again, we might change it in a future video if you guys want more tutorials. Still don't know if you would call this a tutorial. I mean, I'm not entirely guiding you through this, but uh, it's what we're doing today. So yeah. <laughs> so now for our down animation, we're gonna go delete the eyes, go to our line tool, make a very thick line, not that thick. Uh, I still think that might be a little bit too thick. Six is good. Make those both both curved. Stretch it out. Uh, there. That's perfect for now. Now another way you could do this is uh, using the text tool, which I normally do, but uh, I'm not gonna do it here. Anyway, now we uh, have to make a, our down mouth, which is basically just a circle. Yeah, very cool. Now we repeat the same process, but this time we uh, stretch down the legs. Very cool. You're doing good so far. If again you're following this, I don't know if you are though. I just wanted content for today, so I, I decided to, to do this, because I love Scratch, and uh, if you want more Scratch content, uh, subscribe. Yeah. Maybe for a video, we'll remake uh, Scratch, Scratch and Smooth Saturday. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I posted a thing called GXM Sunday City. That's basically just a reskin of a Scratch Smooth Saturday. But if you want me to reskin it, but with the Scratch characters, you know, like, update the graphics or how you want to put it, then we'll do that. But you have to tell me. We might even live stream it if we wanted. Uh, but I believe to live stream I need 50 subs, and I just got OBS, so I'm still figuring that out. Anyway, for our up animation, we kind of want him to go up, like his feetsies. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. To move the thing like oh god that looks terrible uh why does it look like that there has to be a better way I can do this oh it's because of that that's why does that look good for what it is it's good enough right now so yeah very cool now for this all we're gonna do is make that go higher copy it into uh that uh yeah that's it now we want to make i try to make these around the same height so that is what we're looking for right there so now we are technically going higher than than normal and uh, also uh, a little bit higher than we should, actually, because we are not following the foot. The foot. It's a foot. Yeah. All right, very cool. Uh, down. There we go. All right, there we go. We're doing really good, guys. We're doing great. You know, we're just hanging out, chilling, making content. Yeah.
Now, for this one, uh, I'm just gonna do it for Scratch Cat. We're gonna give him, like, a cat-looking face. Most of this is probably gonna be inspired by a Scratch New Saturday, but what you gotta do? It's what we're doing today. Alright, now that we got that, do the same thing. And after we finish all that animation, I'll teach you how to code FNF. Uh, not really. Like, we're not programming the arrows, just the animation. So, yeah. We are almost done. All after this, all we have to do is the right animation, and then we are good. Get it? Because it's the right. We're doing the right. And you get it. I didn't even make a pun of it. I just did it. <laughs> all right. So now that that's done, we have to make a right animation. Should be easy. Which it is. I mean, I, I do the I do scratch for a living. It's it's gonna be easy for me. Okay, there we go. Now these are all kind of basic. I mean, you could get some crazy stuff done. Now, I will say my animation night might not be the smoothest. It, mo it sometimes is, and it sometimes isn't. You know, you can't be in control. Well, I mean, you can, but sometimes you just aren't, which is kind of weird to say, because you are in c control. Anyway, we are now done. That is all the animation we need. And here, as you see, we have our cat. So we're going to name him Cat BF. Yeah. So now we're gonna teach you how to code. Yeah, so first we're gonna need a one flag clicked, hit make a block, call it idle or something like that. Hit okay, idle, define idle. Now here we're going to need a forever, a repeat, and uh, a couple weights. So we're gonna need that and there. Let's make let's lower that though. Perfect. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it go to idle, then next costume, and as you see, we got a a, a a working idle. Again, my stuff might not be the smoothest the smoothest, but we might be updating this in a future video. So now we're gonna be doing a when I receive new message. We're gonna call it left right now. Perfect. Now we're gonna need a stop other scripts and sprite. Switch costume to left. Repeat twice. And uh duplicate bang. Very cool. I said very cool. Uh now we're just gonna need one more, which is a uh, zero point three. And then the idle block. So now, as you see, our scratch cat will forever, well, not forever, uh, be doing that. But when we do left, he'll stop and do that. So we're going to high and make that go a little bit higher. Perfect. Now we're just going to go duplicate that. Make it down. 
up and right very cool now we need that to be down we need this to be up and we need that to be right so now what we have to do now is do the one button clicked or pressed uh, it will do the animation that we want it to so now we can just have him do it whenever we want very cool S K L. Now these are like my keybinds. You can change them to be whatever you want. Uh, but now, if you look, we got working animation. Now you might be wondering, how do I implement this? Well, uh, it's very simple. You go to your backpack and go drag it in there, and then go and drag it out into here. And make sure that these say whatever motion they need to be, and uh, it'll work, basically. Uh, I hope you guys had enjoyed. Next video, we will cover updating or making a new animation. I do not know entirely yet. So, please subscribe, and if this helps you, comment down below what I should do next for this quote-unquote tutorial series. Uh, enjoy scratching. I wish you all the best of luck. Bye-bye.